As officials gather for tomorrow's special meeting, it's the first time world leaders have been forced to think about superbugs. A lot of presidents and prime ministers have probably never heard of AMR or antimicrobial resistance in any serious way. Health officials have been warning about the rise of superbugs for more than a decade. And increasingly, those predictions are coming true, as headlines warn about untreatable gonorrhea and ordinary germs that are acquiring powerful drug-resistant genes. For doctors on the front lines, it's a terrifying new world. Superbugs were not an issue when Dr. Andrew Morris was in medical school 20 years ago. Now we see drug-resistant infections every single day. I never envisioned this when I started training, and uh, I unfortunately anticipate that it's only going to get worse. Superbugs are ordinary bacteria that slowly evolve to resist antibiotic drugs. When someone is infected with a superbug, doctors must use increasingly stronger antibiotics to heal the infection. And there's a risk that soon there will be bacteria that can resist everything on the shelf. And when that happens, routine surgery, chemotherapy and other interventions could become too dangerous. Countries are now on notice. Uh, if they fail to act, the consequences are essentially the dismantling of the basics of what we know as modern medicine, which all depends on effective antibiotics. It's a problem caused by widespread use of antibiotics in agriculture, overuse of the drugs in humans, and a lack of interest by the pharmaceutical industry in developing new antibiotics. At tomorrow's meeting, they'll talk about solutions, how to reduce the use of antibiotics, and discover new ways of killing bacteria, solutions that need hard targets, money, and global accountability. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.